People of the HQ UK universe, we came, we saw, we are owning it. Stones, Kane, our friend Lingard. I'm Beric Livingston. This is HQ Trivia's second World Cup special, and the gloves are off. Unless you're Jordan Pickford, Group G for get in, and this show is all about the football. Yes, today we have an amazing football themed show for you. If you are playing all over the UK, you will enjoy this one. I should possibly mention a slight team bias that may be detectable as the show goes on. I've got relatives in Scotland who are probably throwing things at the screen right now and using their Celtic voodoo to try to make England lose. That's fine. Everybody's welcome on HQ, you know that. And if you're rooting for Panama right now, lo respeto, but meanwhile, come on lads! Okay, we don't have much time, so let's get down to it. The usual format, 12 questions, increasing in difficulty, every round a knockout, get all 12 correct to win or split the prize, 2,000 pounds in cash. And in these shows, we are increasing the prize by 1,000 pounds every time England plays. Time to HQ it, let's get straight to it, Q1. Which of these is not a colour on England's World Cup football kit? Orange, red, white. Not a colour. Nail your colours to the mast. If you went for white here, then you've been cheering on the wrong team. Pale at home, but bright red away. Just like me, we don't go orange. Yes, orange, the right answer and 178,081 of you got that right. We have dabbled with blue and grey, but we left orange to Prince Harry and traffic cones. Q2. Which of these terms best describes knocking a football between an opponent's legs? Cardamom, nutmeg, paprika. Spice up your life with this one. Three spices that'll make my eyes water but which of them can also bring a footballer to their knees? Eternally embarrassing, it's a nutmeg. Nutmeg, the correct answer here. There are many different theories about where the term comes from. 171,000 of you got it right though. Everyone agrees that it is totally humiliating. Let us go on now to some shout outs. Hello to Lindsay and Max and the Benedict's Wharf Massif, to Stephen D from Ashford, to the Yon clan from Portsmouth, and to Emily's tonsils. Adenoid, Tubal, Palatine and Lingual, please all feel better soon. We need you for many things, including cheering on this game. Let's go back to it. Q3. Which of the following is in use for the first time at this year's World Cup? Cooling Breaks, VAR, Vanishing Spray. First time at this one, what are we seeing? They're all at this year's tournament, but which one is making its World Cup debut? CCTV for the referees, it's VAR. Yes, and VAR 160,036 of you VAR that right. Vanish spray is getting stains out, but vanishing spray was first used at the last World Cup. Yes, it was. Let's go on to Q4. Which of these national sides has qualified for the most World Cup final tournaments? Scotland, Wales, Northern Ireland. The most World Cup final tournaments. Well, despite giving us legends like Ryan Gigg and Gareth Bale, Wales have only played in one World Cup. So Northern, it didn't need to say so, it's Scotland. Oh hi, Scotland, the right answer here. 90,172 of you got that right. Scotland have competed in eight tournaments, while Northern Ireland have shown up for three. Let's move on to Q5. Which England player began his career at the same junior club as David Beckham? Jesse Lingard, Gary Cahill, Harry Kane. Yes, which one learnt to bend it like Beckham and where? They're all in the dressing room right now, but who kicked off his career at Ridgeway Rovers? Caning them 
in all seasons, it's Harry Kane. And 40,425 of you were Katie that one. We lost about 52,000 there. Okay, Harry joined the academies at Arsenal and Watford before joining Spurs at the wrinkly old age of 11. Now, which was the lowest ranked country at the start of the 2018 World Cup tournament? Panama, Russia, Saudi Arabia. Go low for this one. They've got the worst goal difference so far, but the Saudis don't have the worst ranking here. From 70th in the world though, to top of their group, it is Russia. Rushing on to victory, 14,854. Oh, we lost over like 27,000 of you. I think that's today's first savage question. A Dicky Vebros, yes. There may be 43 places below us on the rankings, but Panama were neck and neck with us, and right now, ha! Okay, something different now. Q7. Which of these players has not won the golden boot at the World Cup Finals? Roberto Baggio, Gary Lineker, Gerd Müller. That golden boot, it could be Harry's this year. Now we're talking about three goal machines with golden feet, but who never got the shoe to match? Narrowly missing out on the golden boot and the cup in 1994, it's Roberto Baggio. Yes, badgering your way to victory, 9,360 of you. Well done. There's uh, Captain Chris Packett himself. He bagged the award in 1986. Of course he did, while Muller's 10 gold it in 1970. And now, Q8. What nationality was the referee of England's World Cup winning final? Russian, Swedish, Swiss. Cast your mind back to that magical year. We all know which country won it, but what about the man with the whistle? Staying neutral, as always, because he was Swiss. Swiss, the right answer there. And 2,865 of you were doing a Swiss roll. Yes, it was the Russian linesman who made the headlines, but Switzerland Gottfried Dienst was the man in charge. Four to go as we move on to Q9. Which of these was the first tournament to award three points for a win? USA 94, France 98, Mexico 86. Three points for a win, when was it? The three-point win was introduced over here in 1981, but which year was it adopted on the global stage? Saving the Yanks from a yawn fest, it was USA 94. And 1,211 of you got that right. We lost 2,000 there. These questions are chucking you out on pretty equal measure here. Not easy, but 1,211 of you still in the game. Now they were raising the points for a win, which encouraged attacking play and discouraged dull draws. Doesn't look like we're gonna have one of those today, does it? Q10, which was the first African nation to play at a World Cup tournament? Cameroon, Egypt, Zaire. Which was it the first African nation? Well, we scraped our way past Tunisia last week, but who was the first African team to show up? Who was it? Giving us pyramid schemes and Mo Salah, it's Egypt. Egypt, the right answer there. If you feel like an Egypt now, it's because only 354 of you got that right. We lost 976. Egypt took part in Italia 34, but we'd have to wait 36 years to see another African side in the tournament. Okay, everything to play for now, the final two cues. Another bit of World Cup history that we all remember. At Italian 90, Gaza's tears were caused by a foul against which player? Rudy Vola, Andreas Breme, Thomas Berthold. Oh, Gaza. Swells me up, even now. Gaza's yellow card meant he'd miss the final. But who was the real victim of his challenge? Allegedly. Way too tough for tears, it was Thomas Berthold. 
Thomas Berthold the right answer here. And now, 166 of you got that right. Yes, 166 of you still in the game. Okay, dry your eyes, players, because it is penalty shootout time. Best part of 200,000 of you started off this game. We have 166 of you left with 2,000 pounds still to play for. We are going on to the final queue. Here comes. Q12. Which was the first Asian country to get past the group stage of a World Cup? Iran, Japan, North Korea. The first Asian country. Okay, while well, South America and Europe have been passing the cup between them, which of these Asian nations reached the knockout stages in 1966? Iran have only won a single match, so it's not them in the news for different reasons at the moment. It is North Korea for the win. And we have 60 winners today, you World Cup HQT beauties. winners one amazing world cup game well done to you all for some fantastic gameplay congratulations to matty canary a norwich supporter i may gather there dan de cristo adam x coleman uh so pie you've all got 33 pounds and 33 pence or 33 pounds and 34 pence well done. We're hoping that the HQ game has inspired our lads to this amazing start. Congratulations to all of you. That was excellent, excellent gameplay. Let's hope our lads can continue to do as well as you just did. I'm Beric. Find my Insta or tweet me some World Cup love. <laughs> the next World Cup special will be Thursday to coincide with England v Belgium, of course. That is going to be an amazing match and it will also be an amazing HQ. Meanwhile, we are back tonight at 9pm for the big Sunday game with an £8,000 prize. Join us then, but right now, let's get back to the match. Ole, 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 ole! <laughs> Goodbye!